Hey, what's up, everybody? Today, I want to talk to y'all about several dreams that I had. Uh, probably like a week ago that I had these dreams. Um, last, and it was back to back, too. Well, the first two was back to back, and then the other one was like a little down the line. The other ones was like a couple, uh, later on down the line. But the first dream I had was, was recently, I dreamed that it was, uh, it was earthquakes. I dreamed that it was uh, earthquakes. I don't know if it's connected with the Midwest or not, but I had a dream about earthquakes. And where I was at, it was earthquakes. And then I remember, like I was saying to myself, I hope our, our home wasn't damaged or whatever from earthquakes or nothing like that. But then I went to my home, it was kind of like, wasn't that bad, but it was kind of like damage. And I thought about it, like, we stay in the Midwest, so I hope um, it ain't no earthquakes coming to the Midwest. That's that's what I was thinking. The the second dream I had, uh, it was flooding. It was the next day. Like, I dreamed about earthquake uh, that day, and then the next night, I dreamed about the world was flooded. It was flood everywhere. And that too was the Midwest. Um, I know we get floods in the Midwest, but I'm just saying it's it's like, and I was saying then that I hope we didn't our homes didn't get flooded or whatever like that because that it was kind of like bad. It was kind of bad, but not that bad like normal places have. But it was flooded. Then I had a dream that uh, marshals was coming into people's homes, taking people out of their homes. I don't know. I don't know what happened or whatever like that, but our dream marshals came and they came and got us and took us out of our home. And it was going around taking uh, people out of their homes. For what reason, I don't know. Maybe because we Christians, I don't know what was going on, but I remember the army, marshals, I mean, army, whatever. So it seemed like the National Guard. They were just coming to people's houses and taking them out of their home. That was another dream that I had. Then I dreamed that it was... Uh, I would stumble across uh, some place and it was people, like there was sex trafficking kids and it was in a cage and stuff like that. I dreamed that too. Like right after the, um, right after the flood dream, I dreamed about the sex trafficking stuff. It was kids, women, uh, they was locked in cages and stuff and people were sex trafficking them. I know that because uh, it said it in a dream that they are being sex trafficked. And... It was pretty bad. It was it was real bad. So I don't know if that's gonna be like it's gonna like become the norm or whatever, but it was like people was sex trafficking people and it was locked in cages and stuff like that. Okay, last but not least, I wanna tell you about this dream though. Uh <clears throat> this is probably like a few months ago. Uh well not a few months, this was a while ago, but I dreamed that uh I was in the house. I was in my living room. I don't know if I was in. I don't know where I was. In. I was somewhere in the house, and some told me to look out the window. And I looked out the window, and I couldn't see no trees, no nothing. Like the, it was just fire. Like the whole world was on fire. And I and I knew it was, it was from God though. I knew that. I knew. The, <clears throat> excuse me. I knew the, I knew everything that was on fire was from God because I was saying it in my dream. I was like, "Oh, we got to get right with the Lord." And I was warning people, tell them to get right with the Lord and this and that. And it was like fire everywhere. He destroyed the 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 world with fire and in my dream. And you couldn't. It was so bad you couldn't see nothing but fire outside. Like you couldn't see trees, cars, or nothing. You couldn't see like fireballs in the earth or nothing. It was like like a big. Like, it was like one big fireball. That's all you saw. When you looked out the window, all you see was fire. You couldn't see the sky. You couldn't see nothing. It was so scary. But I but I felt safe for some reason, though. I don't know why. I just felt safe. And I was telling my kids and all that. I was like, people have to repent. They got to get right with God. And, uh, yeah, that's that's that was my last dream, that the world got destroyed by fire. That, that was my last dream. And I was running around telling people how, how they got to get right with Christ and got to get right with the Lord. And uh, 
that was the last dream I had, and it just goes to tell me that like the world is perishing, and it's like a, it's like a sinking ship, and God is the the wrath. You know, you you know, you the, the like I said, like the world is a sinking ship, and it, and to be safe, you need a life preserver. You know, you put that on, and and you'll be safe. That's how I feel like the world is, or just like. You know the like you, the rain is 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 the world, and God is the umbrella, and that's just how I feel like uh, what we need. Like we living in these last days, and the world is perishing, and I feel like we need we need God, which is our umbrella, to 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 protect us from everything that's going on. That that's how I feel. I was just stuttering. Excuse me for stuttering too, but <clears throat> but I feel like that's how it is. And uh, like I said, uh, we really have to examine ourselves. We really got to really just try to do right in these last days. I feel like we don't really have that much time left here on this earth. I feel like, I truly feel like God is coming back sooner than people may think. So I'm just saying I really have to be, uh, really have to truly get right with Christ. If you don't know him, accept him into your life like you. Time is running out. We really have to get right with him. Let him be your umbrella. Let him be your life reserver. You know, because this this world is like a sinking ship, and it's like the world is like like pouring rain, and God is our umbrella to protect us. I feel like that's the state of the world is right now, and I also feel like he is coming back very soon. And I know that sounds cliche because people have been saying that for a long time, but I could just... Just the dreams I'm having and stuff like that. I just feel like he's coming back real soon. Sooner than people think. So I just want to encourage everybody to truly get right with Christ. Don't play with your salvation. If you don't know Christ, accept him into your life. And get to know him and have that relationship with him. And believe that he died for you. And believe everything there is to believe about God. And get baptized. And start, and start living for him. Like I always say. We're living in the last days. I feel it. Like, I, was, I never used to feel it, but I actually feel like we're living in the last days. Just with so much, <clears throat> excuse me, just so much that's going on, I just feel like we're living in the last days and we have to get right with Christ. I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I just thought I'd just explain them dreams. And all of it's true. Nothing is fabricated. Everything I'm saying is true. With the flood, the earthquake, and it seemed like it was hitting the Midwest because. The Midwest never have earthquakes and stuff like that, but I feel like it was kept telling me the Midwest like it's finna hit the Midwest because it was it was us, you know our home was damaged and everything. But I don't know what to make out of all that. All I can make out of all that is God is coming back soon. It's like warnings to us to get right with get right with Him. Uh, we living in the last days, and there's gonna be so much stuff. That's going to be happening, and we got to make sure we're right with them. And uh, that being said, thank y'all for listening, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.